Okay, as you're starting to realize, I'm finding it interesting going to Newtown Council meetings. Don't live there, so I'm just going to put these videos out, and hopefully people in Newtown start to get uh, on the clue bus about some of the things going on. Uh, in this video, what you're going to see is, is how they replaced uh, Council Member Harton, who resigned. Um, I swear, and I'll go dig, uh, I might have actually videoed it in a meeting, but when Harton resigned, that they said they weren't going to replace the seat because there was an upcoming election. But all of a sudden, in the most recent meeting, uh, there was obviously a complete setup deal where they were going to have a motion to nominate one guy to replace Harton's seat, which I'm going to start calling not the Newtown Mafia, but the Ivy Hills Mafia had worked out that this guy was going to become the new Joe Harton. Uh, there were th it was referenced that there were three people running for council. I don't know these people uh, going to be running for council in the November election, but that this guy should be the guy to replace Har uh, Harton. The other candidates weren't informed of it. Obviously, this guy knew uh, that this was going to be brought forward so he could be better prepared. One of the candidates wasn't even there. This is ridiculous. If I were in Newtown, I'd be uh, just appalled by the way government works and these setup deals. And by the way, I think in Newtown, if your own place, you run it. But um, uh, I'm not sure how many more lawyers you need on involved with uh, activities in municipalities like Newtown. It, I think you yeah, might want to start looking at some common sense business people to be involved uh, in your government. Based on the fact that we have uh, three candidates that are running for office in November, uh, not counting myself and Mr. Failure, who are already on council, um, I suggested that we choose from one of those three. And my recommendation is that we choose Don Carroll. And I chose Don because he's been a resident since 2004. Um, he's a member of Planning and Zoning. He's a member of Tax Approval Board. Uh, both of those he's been on for a couple of years now. Um, He's an attorney that retired. He also was retired from Fifth Third Bank. Um, I will just dis disclose that because I, of course, retired from Fifth Third Bank. Custom would be uh, not to appoint somebody who's running who hasn't been on council, but not here. We had no building, we had a separate division, and we had no contact with each other. I never got to know Don until he um, just was a neighbor. So with that, I'd like to make a motion to approve Don Carroll to fill the uh, vacant seat uh, from made vacant by the retiring uh, resignation of Joe Hart. Do we have a second on the motion to engage in discussion? Second. Okay, so we have a second. Any discussion? Yes, Mayor, I think that uh, when we had this situation before, uh, we actually took, uh, I don't want to hate to call them resumes, but we took uh, resumes from the people that were interested, that is how we selected Mr. Fairley to uh, fill that seat will and just to be fair to our other candidates I think it would be prudent that we follow that same procedure instead of trying to break the protocol that we've already established yeah, that's well, really I just want to make one point there's a bit of a distinction because last time in my seat I looked up there was two years remaining and the person could be a tunnel point and then you know run for office Mr. Hartman resigned July 31, Correct. and I believe the deadline to get your petitions in is August 9, and we didn't even meet them until August 12. And this seat only has until December 31, so it's a shorter term. I was making that observation 
And so, to the five of you, how do you want to handle it? I just think, again, I think that uh, it should be to make it fair and, uh, uh, and equal to, uh, to all the, uh, the candidates who are running. They should all have a shot at trying to fill that seat. Nothing against Mr. Carroll, who's sitting here, but um, uh, that is my opinion. Okay. Anybody else want to speak on this? Um, I have uh, worked with Mr. Carroll uh, since probably June of last year uh, on the Planning Commission. He's been a great asset to, to the Planning Commission, comes prepared, asks great questions. Uh, I think he's been a great addition to the Planning Commission. And if I look at the three candidates, my understanding is that there's been some minimal um, participation in village events by one of the, one of the uh, uh, candidates. So what you see is they're trying to make sure one of their own gets on the seat. look at the history of the three other possibilities that we're looking at, that will allow them to run as an incumbent. Mr. Carroll given more time to this village and his efforts as a volunteer. And just based on that fact alone, I think he's a great candidate for just this four-month, four-five-month period. Anybody else? I just wanted to say that I, I met Don, uh, Mr. Carroll, um, a few years ago. We sang together in the uh, St. John Fisher Choir. I know him to be of uh, high integrity. I think he would be an excellent um, council member uh, and fulfill the duties of this council seat uh, until such time as the election happens. So I fully recommend that we, uh, that we approve Mr. Carroll tonight. I have to agree somewhat with Chuck. Uh, you know, in the past, this is how we've done it. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know Mr. Carroll, it's, uh, and I don't even know who else is running for the council seat. I think Mr. Ackerman that is, am I correct? I have to agree. And I think Sarah Williams might be. I signed a petition, but I don't know if she got all the signatures, so there are five people running. It's not bad. Okay. I mean, if, if they're interested in that seat, I'd like to see something um, that, that we can look at and compare.
77 and 92. Served on the Newtown Volunteer Fire Department when I was still around. Anderson High School graduate, University of Cincinnati, been with for a couple of years, been getting degrees. I'm a small business owner here in Newtown in the village of Quick Loop. It's been there 22 years. I just took over in October. I want to run for council to maintain what we have going in Newtown and try to help it grow further, but without over expanding and turning into big. I don't, I don't think Newtown needs to be big. I think we need to maintain what we have now. We have great council members now who have been on for many years, and I hope to be tutored by them for when it comes about. I hope I'm on the ballot. Um, I hope I get the, enough votes to be, a, to be a seated member up here. And, We'll tell me to go even further. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.